Welcome gamers to another One Piece Bunch Rush video. So in today's video we're going yeah, we're looking at the, these two Utas. We saw the highlights, you know, the comparisons. I mean both are disgustingly broken, but uh when you look at you know the differences between them, it's largely about uh win read, right? So Yes, there's a defender win rate and there's an attacker win rate. This is how, you know, I'd like, like, uh, the, the major discrepancy to determine that who is better. But with Uta, even though, uh, she may have, you know, sort of like a bit off because of uh, the new EX Claw, she's still pretty disgusting. As you can see there, she took out Hybrid Kaido and Shanks like nothing. I mean, she was doing fine against them before, even before Claw, so. I, I feel like she's still, you know, comfortable. But the reason why you compare them is because depending on who you choose, you cannot use the other Uta. Because they're both top tier and you can only choose one to be like the first Uta. So that's why I feel like it's a good, uh, it's good to compare them to see where they rank because yeah, you can't use two of the same units at once. This is a, a huge problem. And look at Hybrid Kaido. I mean, Hybrid Kaido is like, at the moment, uh, number two unit in the game. I think he's clearly past Big Mom at this point. Big Mom suffers from too many units in Hybrid Kaido. Hybrid Kaido is still the runner, clutch, and do all of that. But yeah, we move on to, let me just talk a little bit more about this Uta. Yeah, this Uta is like, uh, so disgusting. The shield, not as powerful as the Hybrid Gamma, right? But. I mean, it's good enough. It protects you from one skill, like uh, maybe like a, a mud hit skill as well. And it can make your opponent like uh, dodge and you know, do all of that one for stuff. So you have that you know, advantage and that authority like on what happens and what determines the match against the unit that you're facing. Like in Shinshi has half of the shield back. And yeah, it's pretty good. And of course, a one, two basics, the infinity loop, I mean, you can do that, then wait until the enemy dodge, and then trap them again in the loop. It's just pretty easy with us. Unfortunately, it didn't time that right, but still getting that EX Luffy and Kaido there. Because Kaido thinking about teleporting, but not getting that opportunity. Shanks getting one shot at the dodge bug was not enough to save him. I mean, oh man, what's up, bro? I, I still love this version of Uta. It's just with the, uh, you know, the version 2, it's a new unit, it's a different, uh, different outfit, you know, you want to make use of it. And look at that team boost skill, one one shot, seven KOs, I mean, that, uh, Dark is bringing us so many games, uh, so many good games. And another kill there, eight kills. You're not farming a lot of points because with Uta, because you're usually fighting outside of the treasure, so she's not a point farmer. Unlike the blue Uta, she's like a big point farmer, healing on every normal, and of course getting those defender points of guarding the flag and all that. But I would say that uh, this red wood is definitely like you know the mobility, moving around the flag, hard to escape from her, especially if you're a runner. But against Claw, if Claw is not stacked up, and if you know Claw is like a kid, and in the kid form you can sing sing them. And with law, probably you need skill 2 to crit, and then you can hit him with skill 2. Just make sure he doesn't heal from that punisher really, so he doesn't get up back to 50% HP. So yes, but at 6 star, I mean, kid law, people will see. Like, once many people of this who got kid law get him 6 star, people will see, like, he is really the best unit in the game. The gameplay is coming after this one, after the, these uh, two Uta gameplays. But yeah, as for comparison six, uh, man. So yeah, that bomb bomb is going to move the skills quickly. Lucky didn't get shocked. You know, this is when I would have gone shocked. I know with my good connection. And of course, they are playing this giving big mom um, problems. And of course, with this Uta, she suffers from status effect. The blue one, if she gets a counter off, she can nullify all status effects. She can fight outside of the play, definitely depending on the unit that you're supposed to fight. And that was a nice play from uh, Dark there. Dodging that skill one, 
you know, because there was filming back to back means oh, using your normals to move out of a skill. I mean, that is one big advantage which I have, have mobility with our normals, being able to use them to move and even save you from damage from skills and all of that wonderful stuff. Of course, skill two, timing it just right. Okay, close. Oh, look at that 22,000 damage. I mean, Uta is still that unit. I mean, de definitely. Sometimes you want, if you got tired of like the red Uta, definitely you want to you know, use the blue one. But still, she's she's so disgusting. Even in the matter, like the more hyper guys on um, shanks as they are, the more you shine with like Uta, basically. Mm -hmm. King is not a problem. I mean, the only unit, you know, like, if it's a stack, I would get it low with a defense, and, you know, you're doing digits to them, then that's a problem. But not many of them are still six star at the moment, so I feel like, uh, yeah, this, this Uta is still in a pretty good position. And uh, look at game, just, just the, you can't escape that one to look, can even if you try to dodge out of it. He gets you again, it's over. And this big mom, another one down the dust. And the shanks or lucky. I thought she she had the shield. But look at this. Oh um couldn't get through that invincibility. Sometimes you can't hit shanks when he's run. So unfortunately that bug didn't happen. The most important one. Oh see one one shot shanks! I mean this is the that skill without tingles bro. Okay, it seems like they're losing. Fortunately. Oh, they kept the flag. Wait. Ah, but Kid and Law clashed it out in the end. Man, this unit. I mean, with him, the blue so last 30 seconds, like anything can change. <laughs> the game can go in any direction. But that's, you know, for the L game. I mean,. Even see even how you lose with Red Water, it's still like MVP losses. So these are uh, yeah, pretty uh, disgusting unit too. Yeah, so Luffy, not that much of a problem as long as you can get one hit in, then skill one, then you trap him into that sing sing. And um kids Lomos. Oh, they they're very close range to be honest, but even if he gets that close range, they can they overpower a lot of normal tech. They just immediately accelerate you. But I do love um, you know both of the Uta designs actually. But the second one is like a, a definitely much better. <laughs> much better than this one because with this one she's all like armored up. She doesn't feel heavy though, even with all this armor for some reason, but in normal attacks and one flaw she has, they can sometimes miss. Especially if you, you sing sing and then you get, get to say, I got first hit or second hit, they can miss, so you lose out on some, dam some damage. And that is a problem, sometimes. Because I don't get my uh, skill 1 cooldown, oh my gosh. Could have been almost, almost a double KO, but uh, Shanks teleported. Nam is doing a job there. And then, uh oh, the other Shanks is dead. Well, Big Mom, of course, Mesa Cannon. I mean, whoa, he was not able to dodge? An actual unstable, only the such garbage can give you this. Oh, oh. The King, who before he teleports, I mean, yeah, you can do that as well. You need to time it well, though, because sometimes King can catch you just in time before your skill animation. Yeah, Roger, bye bye, my friend. You need to get buffed against Pacific. They are just bullying you at the moment. Oh my gosh, that that will kill. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> this match is actually like what? If not, like one of the best ones I've seen. That's why I saved it for last. And of course, I'm gonna talk about Blue Water. When it's hurt, of course. I only got. I'm actually the one playing it. Although it's like, you know, really, yes, it's a count, but I was the one playing Blue Water. I only got in a couple of matches. I wanted to get in like a third game as well, but I uh, didn't get the opportunity. So there's another crow. 
I'm having both skills. So you need to use skill two, of course. Yeah, man, they just spam skills. That skill has no range. You need to be close to the enemy to hit it. Then bait the dodge, skill one. And he has GG. Can't do anything. Oh, King is capping them. You think he died? Oh, it's the Zoro. He's still struggling. Oh, use the skill one. These Zoros, they always have skill one. Nah, damn, it's like they, they're angry, saying sorry, smiling. And that's what you do against uh, her, for sure. Then we're moving on to these uh, blue with the gameplays. Oh, she's fun. She's fun. I wish I could have more time playing her and everything. But of course, we're playing her through lag, we're playing her through bad connection, you know, a lot of suffering things. But we managed to get some good clips. Some. You put the highlights and the two games. It could have been more, definitely. But the weaknesses of her, you need, like, absolutely to get that first counter. The good thing about it, you just need one counter, and the third, third music, I think, is always there. So you have your damage reduction. This thing, like, I think was one of my first three games. So. Yeah, you, the counter and the range, not that big. Like, you know, it sounds like a small figure, so... You, when you're casting the counter, you have to make sure someone's going to spam this ability skill. Someone's going to hesitate and cast the skill. Sometimes you need to go to like the mid just to get the counter off and then escape to charge flex. She can ignore gauge, which is good and everything. But one thing I always, you know, kept down uh, finding constantly out about her was like, she doesn't nullify knockback. There's a mental set uh, I would like to recommend, I didn't recommend on that uh, other video. Specifically, it only is as useful against the, the low vision of Claw. Yes. The new EX. Yeah, so you you will need it so that he doesn't take the flag from you. Specifically, when he nullifies you, sing, sing your status, of course. But once you have uh, the Thoughts Music thing, I mean... Now you can just abuse, you can just abuse. There's no need to hold skill tool. Yeah, you can hold skill tool only for people to hit you and bait out the dodge. Unfortunately, the, the, I wish it was 100% chance. Why did you put this shifty garbage? It doesn't do that much damage anyway. It's not like first put a white bean or, or ball or something like that, but yeah, I wish that was a 100% chance to sing sing as well. But you don't really bro. For some reason, they're not knocking me back. Then we get that Zoro, we get the kill there. But you can see, they can't, they can't move up. They can't move up. They're stuck there with their units and everything. For some reason, I wanted to hit Kaido with a third normal, but couldn't catch him in time. And luckily, that Roger downed me because I could have died there. And I, you know, that was a. I dodged that with the. Uh, like it and constantly. And EX Luffy keeps hitting you because every time in level 5, it is you heal. You look at this Roger though. I wanted to defend that flag, but I saw Usopp getting bullied. But he, he not back that Roger away, so but that is good. At least that Roger is not there. Then we bully the Red Uta, of course. Yeah. Against Red Uta, once you have your third musica, at skill 1, you do well against the Red Uta. She can't do anything to you. Nothing. Illumus has killed. So full. Yeah, I got the word that. Bullet by my third musical. The third musical can help you and sometimes can like be a, like a, a handicap to you because it like it works every 10 seconds. And you're gonna see on this second game why I say like it's a like the triple middle set for Zoro. It includes like that one where he's like in the bandage after he yeah, after he slashed Sky with everything, he got recently injured. They were killing him around and everything. Yeah, that medal. And other two, like from the time skip, uh, has a, the time skip one. Is it like the first one, like from the fish bin, the time skip Zoro. And then another one from one, yes. And so you use those three, it was three, three trio medal sets for. 
their altar so that you can stop this. You see, when Law was capping, you want to constantly knock him back while you are able to recover gauge. Mm -hmm. For some reason, it, yeah, they, they don't want to cap. So sometimes you need to know what the player is capable of doing. And we were able to get it. Right? But I'm saying, like, if you are able to hit him on the flag and you get that skill to guaranteed skill to cool down every time, then you will be able to heal. So, yeah, we're holding that skill. We can get that big mom there. And. It, you know, sometimes she has that 70% damage reduction skill, but it doesn't feel like 70%. She gets so much damage, even, like, even when you're in treasure and everything. Because the, uh, the damage reduction from your medals and everything, it doesn't count. And yeah, we're bullying Hybrid Kaido. Hybrid Kaido, look at this. Okay, I want, why did his skill not hit? Why is he not hitting? A connection, bro. Only it's the only thing. Oh, bro, I can use my content. Oh, wait, like there's so much lag. I was doing when I most of the games were good, but I had to cut, out, cut, cut them out because the lag is just too much. Yeah, you will see here like Law is going to keep, keep the flag. I would get my skill to back and knock him back before he gets the flag and I could recharge. And he wouldn't have gotten this flag, and I would have had it for sure. Yeah, we still got it, we still killed him, but I'm just saying, like in general, he wouldn't have had to keep that flag. And then I wanted to keep this flag, uh, maybe I should have went to that other second flag at the top of the bridge. But Big Mom was there feeling it, I doubt he would get it. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this new Ultra gameplays. For sure, my opinion is like the red water is better, right? But the blue water is like for the meta right now is like we still like that is still really good. I would say, you know, they are comparable, but it depends. Like if you want to play a defender, then let's play defender woods. But if you prefer to play attacker, then play the other attacker. But like the red water is slightly better. She has much going for her, and she's still relevant. Claude didn't at the moment just run race her yet. And yeah, shit. We got a close win, a close loss there, but yeah. See you in the next video, guys.